dear students a very warm welcome to the class of ma final paper 6 economics of growth and development today we are going to discuss the chapter mahlanobis model of growth the chapter is being taken from the book economics of development and planning written by आर सी अग्रवाल आज हम महलन ओबिस मॉडल ऑफ ग्रोथ पढ़ने जा रहे हैं और यह ग्रोथ ग्रोथ मॉडल हमने लिया है प्रोफेसर आर सी अग्रवाल की बुक इकोनॉमिक्स ऑफ डेवलपमेंट एंड प्लानिंग से सबसे पहले हम देखते हैं परिचय इंट्रोडक्शन प्रोफेसर पी सी महलन ओबिस एक बहुत प्रसिद्ध अर्थशास्त्री भारतीय अर्थशास्त्री रहे हैं और उन्हें भारत सरकार द्वारा सेकेंड फाइव ईयर प्लान के लिए विकास का एक ब्लूप्रिंट तैयार करने के लिए कहा गया था ताकि देश में राष्ट्रीय आय में पूरे योजना काल के दौरान पाँच प्रतिशत की वार्षिक वृद्धि दर को प्राप्त किया जा सके उसके साथ ही बेरोजगार युवाओं के लिए रोजगार के अवसर भी प्रदान किए जा सकें इस प्रकार का एक ब्लूप्रिंट तैयार करने के लिए कहा गया था अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट जैसा कि हम जानते हैं हमारे देश की एक मूलभूत समस्या रही है प्रोफेसर मैलानोविस डेवलप थ्री मॉडल ऑफ ग्रोथ तीन तरह के वृद्धि मॉडलों का उन्होंने विकास किया फर्स्ट वॉज डेवलप्ड इन अक्टूबर नाइनटीन बेस्ड ऑन द वेरिएबल्स ऑफ नेशनल इनकम एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट सेकेंड ग्रोथ मॉडल वॉज डेवलप्ड इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी थ्री इन विच इकोनॉमी वॉज डिवाइडेड इन टू सेक्टर्स दैट इज इन्वेस्टमेंट गुड सेक्टर एंड द कंज्यूमर गुड सेक्टर द थर्ड ग्रोथ मॉडल वॉज डेवलप्ड इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी थ्री इट इज़ अ फोर सेक्टर प्रोफेसर मेलन ऑबिस मॉडल हैव गोन अहेड ऑफ हेरोडोमर इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ मॉडल्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी शैल डिस्कस ओनली टू मॉडल्स ऑफ ग्रोथ ऑफ प्रोफेसर महलन ऑबिस यानी हम यहाँ पर केवल दो मॉडल्स की ही स्टडी करेंगे प्रोफेसर महलन ऑबिस के दो मॉडल टू सेक्टर मॉडल एंड फोर सेक्टर मॉडल सबसे पहले हम देखते हैं नाइनटीन का द्वीप क्षेत्रीय मॉडल टू सेक्टर मॉडल मीनिंग प्रोफेसर पी सी महलान ऑबिस डेवलप्ड टू सेक्टर मॉडल ऑफ ग्रोथ इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी थ्री अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस मॉडल द एंटायर नेट आउटपुट ऑफ इकोनॉमी इज डिवाइडेड इन टू टू सेक्टर्स द इन्वेस्टमेंट गुड सेक्टर एंड द कंज्यूमर गुड सेक्टर्स दीज टू सेक्टर्स आर अज्यूम टू बी वर्टिकली इंटीग्रेटेड विद इन दम सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनिंग द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दिस मॉडल ऑफ ग्रोथ महलान ऑबिस स्टेटेड आर एम is to solve the problem of poverty that is to find a feasible method of bringing about a continuing economic development of the country it would be necessary to use much scientific and technical knowledge and also to organize continuing research at various levels for this purpose but research is not our primary objective the aim is to solve our particular problem when a practicing physician gives medical treatment to a patient he uses much scientific knowledge and even do some research but his chief aim is to cure the patient his observations or experiments on the patient may add to medical knowledge but the treatment given is not primarily for purpose of research this distinction is important our studies also have the primary aim of solving a particular problem and not doing any theoretical research for its own sake as a matter of fact this model gives the growth path of the economy professor mahalanobis two sector model of growth is also of the great significance in the sense that it provides the basis for the formulation of the four sector model 1955 for the second five year plan assumptions kya manyatae li gayi hain mahalanobis ke dvikshetriya model ki 
Malanovis two sector model of growth is based on the following assumptions. First assumption: the economy consists of two sectors, the consumer goods sector and the capital goods sector. The economy is closed where there is no foreign trade. The supply of capital goods determine the investment. There is no intermediate sector. The economy maintains the full capacity of production in both the sectors. the consumer goods sector and the capital goods sectors this is absolutely non transferability of capital equipments once installed in any of the sectors however the products of the capital goods sectors may be utilized as inputs in any of the two sectors there is a stability of prices during the plan marginal utility of consumption remains constant the rotation period of capital is constant and last the increase in national income in one sector is not neutralized by some decrease in other sectors of the economy now mathematical equation of the model given these assumptions mahalanobis divide the economy into two major sectors the investment goods sector k and the consumer goods sectors c the sectors producing raw material for investment goods are aggregated with the sectors producing investment goods and this vertical integration does apply also to consumption goods sectors in this model beta k and beta c represent the output capital ratio in the two sectors k and c respectively it is for the special assumption that all productivities remain constant not only for the long run but also for the duration of a five year planning period the output capital ratios also become the average and marginal productivities of net investment further lambda k represents the proportion of net investment going to capital goods sector and lambda c to the consumption goods sector hence lambda k plus lambda c is equals to 1 to him the net investment at any point of time may be divided into two sectors lambda k it to investment goods sector and lambda c it to consumption goods sector that is it any investment net investment at any point of time in t period of time investment in t period of time is equals to lambda k it plus lambda c it further lambda it and lambda ct respectively show the growth in investment goods and consumption goods professor mahalanobis makes delta it and delta ct the increase in any period t depend exclusively upon net investment in the preceding period marked by it minus 1 the relationship between investment and addition flows can evidently be worked out productivity of investment or the reciprocal of capital output ratio relates the two with each other according to the following equation delta it is equals to beta k lambda k i t minus 1 period of time delta c in t period of time is equals to beta 0 b, sorry beta c lambda c i t minus 1 period of time delta i t minus 1 is equals to beta k lambda k i t minus 2 again since national income consists of total investment and consumption we have the following relations for periods t and t minus 1 we get the equation 4 and 5 then professor mahalanobis explained percentage change in absolute income growth rate between periods t minus 1 and t as follows and we get the equation 6 and further derivations are given as follows then finally we conclude that growth rate of national income depends only upon the allocation of investment to the investment goods industries and its productivity it never minds how large or small the productive capacity may be in the consumption goods sector of the economy 
thus we get from 6 delta y t minus delta y t minus 1 over delta y t minus 1 is equals to beta k lambda k or delta y t minus delta y t minus 1 is equals to beta k lambda k delta y t minus 1. Then finally we get the equation 7 that is delta y t is equals to 1 plus lambda k beta k multiplied by delta y t minus 1. The solution of 7 equation 7 is the compound interest formula that is delta y t is equals to delta y 1 in bracket 1 plus lambda k beta k raised to the power t minus 1. The time path of national income growth can therefore be represented in the following manner. Delta y t is equals to y0 plus delta y1 plus delta y2 plus delta y3 plus dash dash plus delta y t. Equation 9. For t is equals to 2, 3 and so on. From eight we from equation 8 we get the value for delta y2, delta y3 or and so on, delta y t as follows. We can see here the total derivations and finally we arrived at the equation 10 then 11 and finally 11, uh, equation 12 and 13 and finally putting the value of delta y1 from equation 12 in 10 we thus get the income growth formula that is the equation 14 yt is equals to y0 plus gamma 0 lambda c b c plus lambda k b beta k upon lambda k beta k in brackets 1 plus lambda k beta k raised to the power t in minus 1 bracket closed. Incidentally by utilizing the above dynamic process analysis the consumption growth formula, the investment growth can also be measured. Interpretation of the equations. As compared to Harrod Dahmer model, the time path of income in Mahalanobis model depends upon a large number of structural coefficients which operate for the introduction of sectoral analysis. Since beta k and beta c are technologically fixed, the time path of income would depend upon gamma 0, the initial amount of investment to income and lambda k, the amount in which the current investment is allocated to the investment good sector. When lambda k is known, lambda c is easily determined. Further, if we assume that the initial amount of investment to income gamma 0 is constant the only variable on which the planner can depend is the amount of current investment being allocated to the capital goods sector lambda k obviously a higher value of lambda k would lead to a slower rate of growth of income in the beginning while a higher rate of growth in the future may be greater than an increase in the value of 1 plus lambda k beta k raised to the power t but as the time passes, 1 plus lambda k beta k raised to the power t will likely govern the whole process provided beta c is greater than beta k. The last equation 12 derived above reveals as Mahalanobis has himself said that after a critical range of time, the larger the investment in investment goods industries the larger will be the income generation. Thus, it may be concluded that Mahalanobis two-sector model acknowledges the proportion of investment allocated to the capital goods industries at each stage 
as the chief strategic variable deciding the long run economic growth this was the part 1 of the mahlanovis model only two sector model is being discussed here in the next video we will discuss the four sector model till then goodbye